so fighters are born right but the human instinct to fight of course is inside all of us i think hum sab in all of our walks of life jo bhi karte hain we always work towards trying to achieve the best at what we do and we fight for it right hmm. but as somebody who has trained in a little bit of mma like i have trained very little hmm. um that endurance that that pain that comes with being a fighter it's definitely very very mental like the mental aspect of fighting is just so so deep all of us are fighters but only a few of us are actual physical hand to hand fighters man I can't tell you how cool mm-hmm. I think it is that you do what you do which Thanks. is uh, fight people. What's that like? Like I, I think that's just the first thing that I would want to ask you. Like what's it like being somebody who's in there and fights, you know? Uh I mean it's like glorifying yourself first of all. I mean I I can't like all this reasons glorify 100% like okay I'm the fucking shit and yeah. like I can do everything. But other than that this sport of mma so first we had like for if you go in the pakistan history just like we met and you asked me a lot to find k why the hell you this mma and why you used a lot of people actually asked k okay can you do this from yeah. the mma so first aspect is okay let's see fighting as a definition okay what's the fighting fighting could be like a chat like someone have a school I mean, be for them. They will have to nickel. I like some yeah. some some fucking people don't like you, yeah. and uh, they're like kind of bullying you, or probably they they want to fight you in a group, and you're just yeah. alone. So like that could be a sort of fighting also. So there's uh, like hundred percent in society uh, where we are coming from, uh, and anybody could be could be related to that. Okay, some some probably people could be fighting inside a. Uh, a a like a a family dispute in in yeah. terms of uh, like you you can you can definitely say that uh, so fighting as a term is you, you can't stay just that only mma give you that but mma does give you the mental and physical aspects of it in in a in a like a 100% practically uh, def- definition so yeah. i mean if you saying okay, okay i want to see a fight fight so that's uh, thing okay, okay maine ab like if i say in urdu like phadda dekhna yeah. like that that yeah. thing uh if, if you know like agar koi school mein hota tha or some some uh, like kids ke used to okay yaar dekh boy ka scene ho gaya like uh, we have to go there or like yeah. even to okay okay you can't do such thing but you always want to do chalo dekh lete hain aaj aake we probably It's like you know curious, uh, curious, curious fighting, fighting, i mean right? kuch yeah. na kuch to hai so yeah. that's i think yeah, why everyone knows that human nature it's human nature or yeah. it's just uh, in everyone if they if they look into it and uh, or truly for us it's just like a i mean uh, it's it's the best uh, i mean uh, like a uh, what i say is the best time for us okay yeah. we have fucking internet or yeah. uh, in pakistan this yeah. is growing a little bit slow but yeah. still it's growing on a level jahan pe we can do amateur things and yeah. some amateur promotions are yeah. coming which actually made the pro fighters we have right now and uh, from whole around the globe yeah. they are they are they are getting all the I mean attention yeah. uh, you can you, you know like Islamabad boys in Lahore Karachi so everything is going slowly like on the point now yeah. so MMA you can say a okay, perfect definition for where you can see that it's going to be a fight fight like yeah. yahan this ladai hoti hai yeah. and uh, in terms of ladai people obviously it's it's kind of a yes if two persons are going to be doing something as a fight in uh, aspects of fighting terms jahan pe rules aa jate hain it's possibly the best civilized way of yeah. doing things in it's a very controlled in, environment in, right? yes in in sports so yeah. i mean this is the best way where you can uh, see yourself such ke what sort of capabilities you can control in a balanced way yeah. so not like a Uh, you have to be hundred percent anger about yeah, it. Yeah. If uh, you want to be hundred percent like, uh, oh, I'm gonna shoot this guy. I'm gonna like, uh, you know, just yeah. let let that let that ha huh, let yeah. that ring. Bus wah pe bus mujhe announce kare na. I'm gonna be step in that ring or cage. Yeah. And you know, this is MMA. I can like, you know, I can punch that guy. I can kick that guy. I yeah. can 
like not on the obviously the foul uh, punches or foul yeah. kicks but i can do most of the things yeah. where uh, there is a possibility that you can like uh, i mean you know withdraw other person like look th- i mean there is yeah. a l- lot up, of yeah. countless i mean uh, combination strike it, it yeah. out of the uh, corner right? yes like yes so stop right there yeah uh, so i mean fighting in in terms of that it's i mean beautiful in sense of mma yeah. so and i think that's what people often miss out cuz i don't like this is something that i couldn't understand for the longest time as somebody who's a fan of the sport hmm. somebody who's followed the sport boxing mein like if you look at boxing wo to bahut der se sport established hai yes. like bahut der se mike tyson mohammad ali ye bro yes, huh. in log ke naam sunte hain ye log bahut bahut pehle ke fighters hain boxing mein jo backlash aaya ya nahi aaya i think it is nothing compared to the backlash jo mma ko aata hai har mm-hmm. jagah duniya mein mm-hmm. jahan pe bhi mma pehle introduce hoti hai log kehte hain ki this is dog fighting this mm-hmm. is cage fighting mm-hmm. this is people who just go at it and they just want to kill each other right mm-hmm. as somebody who is an mma fighter mm-hmm. like yourself mm-hmm. right when you hear somebody say that it's you know human cock fighting and people are just trying to teach us heads off because honestly speaking dude a lot of people watching this podcast and just a lot of people in general think about mma as just a blood sport mm-hmm. as is you know like huh. the most lowest level of human mm-hmm. safety possible mm-hmm. how do you feel about that because this is your craft uh, for that people uh, in a sarcastic way i will uh, i would say that you're living in pakistan first <laughs> okay? and you're living in pakistan yeah. where like anything can seriously possible in yeah. this turn like it okay? can pop off in a second bro in yeah. a second <laughs> in a minute or or probably you're out of your home okay? and yeah. you don't know you're coming back like safe or uh like but everyone gets home safely yeah. but this is possibility i'm saying yeah uh the things we have gone through as a country theek hai or yeah. cities and we can't take that away theek hai karachi islamabad lahore just we are talking about only three major cities yeah. abhi the 70% rural societies we are not even talking about yeah. what goes around their places theek hai yeah. in 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 our place in these major cities there there is a lot of things go around and we cannot talk about it in in a open society like yeah. our country you okay? got to learn to protect yourself yes yeah. and uh in terms of i think this sport uh so if people are thinking that this is violent then what the hell you're looking at the yeah. media these days theek hai koi do politicians bithaye aur they are like yeah. i mean wahi phool pek rahe the dusre ki taraf nahi like they are being yeah. you know distasteful of uh, like smack talking jo hum yeah. the ufc or mma oh, type of sports mein dekhte hain this is real th- i mean this is the real thing theek hai a people getting aware that okay yaar dekho ek sport hai where you can train yourself yeah. as a amateur or as a professional whatever your level you want to achieve theek yeah. hai you can start with the basics in the in any age first to iski koi age nahi like yeah. uh, i can give you examples of pakistanis who have started and yeah. you know that guy yeah. who actually bought the sport bashir yeah, theek hai and he yeah. which age he started you know that too theek hai no, though when did he start 30 he, he was like a 30 Whoa. when he started with uh, he had his first pro fight but he was Whoa. training for yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously he started on 24 26 that's but pretty late to start your pretty late career, to yeah. even fight say people here say that 30 ho gaye tum bas chalo ghar baitho yeah. kamao or like you know everything you should be done with your family and business yeah so i mean uh, other than that but like uh, as a sport here mma uh i mean it's a good hobby theek hai it's a perfect physical sport to anyone to uh, try out even for any cardio goals even for yeah. any uh, fitness goals l- yeah. yeah fitness goals i mean doesn't have to be like a fighting goal ke yaar mujhe sirf professionally hi karna hai ya yeah. mujhe sirf ye uh sirf fight hi karni hai to that's why i'm like uh, yeah. i'm going to train you you probably can yeah. do it because ke okay i would just want to yeah. you know enjoy uh, what what how uh, how come these fighters can fight for 3 minutes these fighter can you know throw punches rook kicks in Keep like 3 minutes up ha, for like even or roll minutes, for 3 yeah. for 3 to 8 minutes in in yeah. jiu jitsu gyms like yeah. we have say it so yeah. they're like uh, relentless in 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 terms of training yeah. here in mma so yeah. up you you should just try out once yeah. in a lifetime the obvious yeah. you have to you try have out to okay try if out, you yeah. have tried out any difficult sports in your life just like uh i mean boxing i would say uh, in terms of uh, in difficulty yeah. is can you you can match with mma because that's also a combat sport yeah. kickboxing also but kickboxing is not big here okay yeah. kickboxing if you go for a uh, pro rules i think 
Uh, it's big in places in, like Thailand. Yeah, and but Malaysia, in Pakistan, right? it's Abhi B. It's normally not that of yeah. a level where we can, you know, uh, go for like a pro level to yeah. make it uh, bigger and bigger. But yeah. uh, MMA, it's getting bigger again. Yeah. So MMA is on the rise constantly, mm. and you know, I really wanted to get you. So I am not making this up. When mm. I first thought of, you know, I'm gonna start a podcast, maybe start one for MMA, and maybe have you know cover the MMA scene here. You were one of the first names that I had mm-hmm. on my phone because I, because I, I mean, I've known you in a close capacity here and there. Like I saw you at Synergy, seen you at Rogue. Mm-hmm. Now we train together in a gym. Yeah. Um. And you know, I've I've seen you know how you've developed as a fighter. I keep following the news too. Mm-hmm. You you boxed up. Hey, he doesn't. He sells mm-hmm. himself really short, by the way. Mm-hmm. You boxed up a Indian boxing team, like a guy from the Indian national yeah. boxing team. Yeah. I saw that video, bro. You punked his ass. Yeah, like, you know I, what did, I mean? I did. I did. <laughs> like, bro, and that was brilliant, by the way. Like, you know, and thanks. you, uh, and the and the title in Thailand that you won for, I think, Big Box. Uh, that was actually, uh, the title was Dog Fighting Championship. Yeah, the the dog Big Box was a promotion where yeah. the gym, where it was situated, yeah. the, where the event I mean, happened. Dude, you've come all the way here. I want you to take me a step back. Tell me about your first start in the MMA journey that mm-hmm. you've taken, where exactly did you think, all right, this is what I want to do and this is what I want to do for a very long time. Mm-hmm. When did it hit you that, you know, MMA is what you want to start or at least even try out? Okay, so if you if you want to ask, like, where... So I never had a plan okay, that, that this all could be like this, what I have achieved right now. Yeah. I mean, because... Obviously in Pakistan you can't like okay yeah many ye karna do saldo obviously it is gonna go right and right and you can like grow because our country again like we are situated in, yeah. in, in like a, you know in a region where you have to like think about twenty years ahead of you yeah say. so and you're made for, to think haan, y- for you. that reasons huh I, I didn't never thought about okay okay pro MMA bhi koi cheese hogi and pro MMA would be the best thing I could find out in my in my own life and I can make out of a care I mean career out of it yeah so uh where i started it 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 just started with the uh, like uh interest of it so yeah. i never knew about the mma uh, uh like uh before ufc so i i used to watch ufc or yeah. uh, I, I was watching uh, the, the ultimate fighter the show yeah, yeah, where yeah. you have the all the fighters in a home and uh that was a crazy that's busting. a crazy that's concept uh, isn't it for a, people who don't watch mma who are watching this yeah. the ultimate fighter is a reality tv show where inside a house there are mma fighters in two different mm-hmm. teams who have to fight each other living together that show is crazy but yeah go on yeah Sorry. so uh, I, uh, th- I mean that was my first time like okay i was watching okay so this is a cool show where yeah. there's a reality going on okay these guys are living i mean together and they yeah. have to fight for that <laughs> like yeah. why the hell they wanted to fight okay say so yeah, probably I, I was like okay i'm missing something maybe there's another home and there's like yeah. these guys are team one that's yeah. team two but i saw like okay everyone is holding like uh, they have their beds inside their yeah. home and they're the people who are coaching these guys were two animals called chuck little and granny couture granny that couture, was yeah. i mean wh- when i watched this probably 2008 but that fight happened in 2006 or something yeah. i was watching yeah, late yeah. so uh, i wasn't updated that time bt uh, that was back in uh, 2008 again so yeah. i mean after that show so okay i said okay like these guys, these guys fought in in, in a um, like a boxing kind of rules. What is this? So I start, started to search about it, research about it. Okay, these are not this. This is not a boxing match. Yeah. This is not something this kickboxing. This this is a fight. Fight. You yeah. can actually knock out a guy. You can take someone down. You can ground and pound, and you can kill. Not literally. Yeah, not yeah. Actually, yeah. if you don't have a, f- a referee, yeah, you yeah. have a Mario problem Yamazaki, there yeah. where probably, yeah, you have a problem there where you yeah. probably might end up someone's life. And this is, Mazzagati, yeah. this is legit. This is legit. That could happen in Pakistan also. That's just not like, yeah, okay, yeah. The, these guys have rules and all. This is for universally. Yeah, okay? yeah. People who are, I mean, listening. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, after that, uh, I started to uh, search about, okay, what's the, I mean, what's MMA here in Pakistan? Is it is there something? And then uh, I, I kind of like uh, ended up in a Facebook page which is like mixed martial arts Pakistan yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was heading by Bashir and uh-huh. I uh, like I probably emailed him a few times and he said okay I have a like a gym here called Shaheen yeah. it was in Ghazi road mm-hmm. that back then and yeah, I was yeah. living in Karachi that back that those days so uh, he said, okay, okay, if you want to just uh, like come by and like uh, see what, what goes on here, like 
this is just a typical boxing kind of kickboxing because he knew get MMA wouldn't be like soul in just yeah. that like just you like know that. so it's a new probably you have to like yeah. huh, you have to watch okay, what what happens here and what the training is sort about like you, you can visit us and you can like take a training camp like a, a few sessions of maybe yeah. a week or two weeks and i say okay this is a good opportunity yeah. i might like travel to lahore and uh, i never s- saw the place so yeah why not uh, i ended up here I, so I, I you came trend- from karachi to lahore just to check out the place just to check out and actually i so if i go back again and like tell you the right story so it was i never knew that bashir was actually saying so he posted up okay okay i'm i'm organizing a tournament yeah where there are people gonna fight uh, yeah. in MMA type rules. So whoever wants is interested, please uh, post your address, your name and everything details inside this comment section. So yeah. what I did, I said, my, my friends were like, uh, back those days, we were like, okay, I have to Facebook comment like when you did that and yeah. then I was thinking why the hell I did it yeah, and I was like up, I was yeah. pissed off again and and then Bashir commented okay only Shahid gave me the details and not everyone else was commenting also but uh, then we contacted again okay, okay this competition might be like just a sort of uh you know uh, like a welcome uh, uh, kind of a seminar where yeah. you're not gonna fight a uh, real real mma guys because mma is in yeah. here right now yeah. so you might be probably uh traveling with another person called gohar goal which was my uh first kickboxing in coach karachi. yeah in yeah, karachi yeah, yeah. so that's how i met gohar goal in, uh, in karachi also so oh, nice. So uh, uh, again, when uh, and I'm I sorry, ended up, but at this point you're just a student, right? I I wasn't a student. I was just like on a Facebook keyboard, like yeah. a guy. Like okay, so there is something going on in Pakistan about yeah. MMA, and uh, okay, Bashir told me that there is something, uh, especially in Pak. Uh, I mean yeah. Karachi, there is yeah. a guy called Gohar. Gohar Gohar, yeah. You should visit definitely, right. and and maybe start training if you want to compete or even if you want to start. So did. then I ended up in in his place, and I was like. For the first glimpse I, uh, I saw Gorgul, I was like, okay, this guy, six pack drip and like, <laughs> like a like yeah. a skinny rib dude with like a lot of muscle mass to end my, like, <laughs> end your life. Yeah, 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 kind of that uh, vibe yeah. I got from. <laughs> but then he said, Asalaamu Alaikum, please, yeah, come with me. I'm training this guy and his name is, uh, so that guy who, who he, he was training back uh, was call, uh, is uh, uh, called uh, Umar Aga. Uh-huh. He is uh, probably off scene right now these days, but yeah. back in 2010 and 11, people knew about him in Karachi and uh, all over Pakistan also because yeah. he was the only guy who was contacting through Bashir in the pocket MMA scene and all we right. were like only two three guys Ali Nasir and like all uh, we all three like you know, making some sort of uh, you know communication through Bashir okay if you want to make a seminar here we can like arrange some yeah, gyms yeah, and yeah, you can yeah. come over and he did that oh, in, nice. in Gohar Gul's place so again uh, then then I uh, ended up uh, like traveling with Gohar here and uh, we we made a training session and met Bashir inside apartment looking gym which was like surprising okay this is a gym kind right. of thing huh? yeah. uh, and that was I mean first time I I traveled Lahore with with people like who have a martial arts experience and Umar Aghat couldn't accompany us because he had some family issues I don't know yeah. why but again uh I had a you know curiosity okay, okay let's see what what this thing so goes on at this point what was the setup of the Pakistan MMA scene like and I don't mean like the setup of the gym I mean by this point how many people even knew what MMA was and how many people were actually I'm sure there's a lot of martial arts mm-hmm. gyms like I'm sure there's a Kyokushin and a Wushu and a Taekwondo gym but how many people were actually practicing the sport of mixed martial arts by the time you first met Bashir Ahmed uh, to be honest in, in terms of that question I would answer like uh, I don't know the perfect numbers but yeah, when I uh, like yeah, I, yeah when I met Bashir and uh, I, I met like Ali Ahmed who who's a, the best referee the only yeah, referee true. we have yeah that guy so he started back when yeah. w- w- like with Bashir yeah. the first few guys yeah. and uh, that play I mean Bashir only had like 10 or 15 guys who he was training uh, yeah. and and he he was also sparring with few bunch of other guys who wanted to you know yeah. okay, take a martial arts aspect okay, you no know, martial arts still better than MMA and, yeah. and Bashir was like you know sparring in, in his <laughs> Yeah. sparring them in his own gym oh, with man. with like uh, with with like nothing on the floor like concrete yeah bro oh. and, and uh, you can go back and uh, you can look at the like YouTube uh, videos where 
you can actually see Park in my uh, first episode where Bashir was like having 16 hours gloves and sparring and yeah. throwing, swinging. Shfag Judd, I think the guy name is, and uh, they were only sparring in his own gym. So Bashir had only an idea about it. Okay, he was. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's some street fighter level shit, by the way. Bashir calling martial artists into his gym. And then sparring with them. No, not like. I mean, that's dope, dude. That's, like, that's dope, awesome, yeah. But yeah. but yeah, but <laughs> not not in terms like to scare the hell out of them. No, like but no, yeah. but in in teaching them, and training yeah. them, like uh, and himself, I'm sure. And, yeah. and so obviously, and yeah. he he wanted to compete as and what he did actually by only by far like in in terms of success, you can see that that's the only guy who actually have that sort of uh, I mean uh, in in that period yeah. uh, success uh, you can say because of that gym and that training. Yeah. So again, uh when when he started again like like few guys from some guys were in Chirpin and he was like sponsoring, he started to sponsor two three guys from Chirpin so they could get away from harsh drugs what they were facing and like some you know real like, world uh, yeah problems. Yeah, so real world facing, problems yeah. like that. So uh then then I think so his main purpose was just to build a gym and uh, build the sports in in whole parks and not just in Lahore. So, but okay. but obviously he's, he's he got to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, somewhere, and he did tried his best to do that. So yeah. again, so, so you that's meet how, Bashir, yeah. So you meet Bashir, yes. and then what happens after that? Uh we just met like uh. So basically, I met Bashir, but then on on that same day, he said, "Okay, we're going for a run." I said, "Oh." Bro, I'm I'm like lazy guy. I, I was like I was overweight. And I was like, dude, I'm here just to have fun. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like first time in Lahore. Like yeah. uh, my I have friends here. <laughs> I might I might I might just like bro, kal kal. <laughs> but I couldn't say that because I have Gohar Gul, the yeah. coach, and I he, he that guy is still have. Res, I mean, res, I the, I still respect that guy in yeah. my heart because he's the badass dude and uh, typically just honest person and he'll just say whatever he feels like uh, in your face and he yeah. won't like stop it by saying yeah. it. So, uh, anyways, so uh, on that same day, uh, but she just said, "Okay, we're we're going for a run. If you want to join, and that I did went to that run. Yeah. And uh, when I came How back, was that like? I I ended up like in in like." 15 minutes and and but she's just some 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 guy who he wasn't teaching that a company me is like i said yes <laughs> that's a better idea i'm not here Dude, i'm not I here used to just watch like I, I remember this is really this kind of creepy uh but like i i live in this area generally and this is pretty yeah. close to where yeah uh, the first i think synergy is so a shaheen open which is the yeah Nobre. yeah i used do you to remember snowbird I do remember. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was the guy who actually said. So he was oh. my first fucking, you know, the guy I met through Bashir. Like, okay, Damn, Bashir, Snowball, yeah, dude. he's Snowball he's a legend. Like, he's a legend. Dude, he's if he, if he, if he never used those fucking harsh drugs, yeah, Sayana, I, I think he would be the best fighter w- w- yeah. what Pakistan have ever produced. Because uh, the day I met, yeah, yeah, that day I met, I uh, just you know I l- landed Bashir. Like he told me, okay, okay, this is the guy I'm uh, training, and he's from not Lahore, and he's from rural area of Pakistan, yeah. and he's here only because of me, and uh, I wanna be serious about it. And Bashir was honest about everything, so because yeah. he's promoting a martial arts academy here, and he yeah. has to be honest, honest about, about everything, everything yeah. whatever he's doing. Because yeah. again, uh, there there was aspect, okay, this guy is not from here, and what he's doing, from here, like you know, yeah. blah blah blah, like America yeah. and his shit that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, again, <laughs> com- coming back to the story. So Snowbird, yeah, this guy. So we we all uh, became like, okay, so uh, Snowbird told us this is how the event's going to go. You have to train with us, Shahid, and you have to like wake up and do the morning training and maybe in the yeah. evening the training. I said, okay, yeah, okay. You- and like probably I can do that yeah. and uh, I started with uh, like basics, boxing, kickboxing yeah. and I had fun. So and uh, uh like uh, let me skip to the like end, end of the day when when yeah. we when we uh, why we were here so uh, then Bashir organized an event in model town where okay. victory dojo is where you yeah, know yeah. what uh, victory dojo yeah, is. So victory. victory dojo is actually uh, the people who don't know right now so th- that's uh, uh just a karate type of yeah. martial arts academy and which was so famous and popular in in whole 70 or 80 percent population around in yeah. in kind of a model town area yeah. so i don't know about the whole lahore uh, that it was famous for i but 
in karate kyokushin type of thing in moltan that was the place where yeah. you should be going to so bashir organized a small event kind of a, a mma thing yeah. uh, at, uh, at 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 a dojo called victory so uh, yeah. gym so they they organized it just for the sake of like making a seminar out of it yeah. but that guy that, that the owner said okay why don't we make a fight here so he yeah. said okay what well, that's a cool idea oh, and i said like, okay so <laughs> who's casual, fight? Yeah. probably you is it like whoa <laughs> <laughs> So we we ended up uh, with with cool fights there and uh, mm. I I on on that event day I've I've saw uh, the the TFF founder at the Sham Kareem for oh, yeah, that yeah. uh, even Ali Sultan uh, Ashfaq yeah. Jat uh, yeah. Wakar Umar oh, uh, yeah. and uh, and uh, I think Snowbird did fought also uh, and Gohar Gul also all these guys fought all these guys fought and uh, fought, and wow. they and there was a, also a Bashir's I think I, I think first cousin or uh, I don't know uh, what the Dude, relation all is. these names you took these are high level these are now right now high right. level not guys only these are the only guys you should go to if yeah, you if need you to MMA. yeah MMA in, in different cities I mean Lahore and Islamabad is only hold by you know Wakar that's a good yeah. place or maybe there's now better gyms uh, going to open maybe be brave gym is yeah. gonna be happening and yeah, UFC gym thing. is already here Dude, yeah, have you seen that yeah, thing I've seen uh, big, I, I haven't seen it from the inside but from the no, outside but I've really seen big. I've seen on Instagram there is a guy named uh, Marcos uh, so he's here Marcos Almeida no Marcos Santa Cruz he's right. a BJJ uh, a black belt who's okay. here from Middle East and uh, they have opened this uh, facility from the inside I don't know what's the out structure about it because yeah. the, they didn't open it like officially officially but Marcos posted the UFC gym inside and that's looking huge Yo. and it's but it's it's too far away from here like, yeah. it's in DH Rapper it's a, I think yeah. it's pretty near Rapper nah, yeah. it's, yeah. pretty it's pretty far, far away, away. so yeah. again so that's how it happened but uh, from again so this was this 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 was all 2010 so yeah, yeah so after that I came back okay I said okay so what now like okay I've done that like that was fun but this this all thing was like okay like just you know like okay I made a travel and that's yeah. a cool cool I city and I, cool, I saw yeah. sport okay yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean I like it I probably do it for a hobby thing yeah and then uh, surprisingly after like uh, in, in 2011 yeah so in and after a, a year they uh, I, I I saw on on a Facebook that from my home there is like in three kilometers distance uh, some guy named Oves Shah opened an academy oh, and I okay. and I straight uh, like uh, you know linked that page to Bashir and said asked him okay hey uh, do you know about these guys yeah. like, I don't know but uh, I mean looks like a cool place so should I go I said like, why the hell are you asking me you yeah, should <laughs> sure, yeah. I mean and then I started to actually go to Oves and that time uh, for the first two months it was in the constructional phase and and from that gym uh, all the shit started to make sense and then I made the sport like a kind of a regular uh, kind of thing like Part okay four days yeah four days uh, four days a week kind of training yeah and I have to be there and uh, Obez did help me develop a lot of uh, stand-up striking mainly in kickboxing area and yeah. we so that that's how uh like my main uh like uh, you know the the stand up and martial arts experience started that's from where that. it started from, and yeah. there's that's the place i would actually from grohor gul to 3g to umar aga these are all guys i i start training with and uh, yeah. from bits and pieces i start to grow and like all these guys have now pretty bad as gyms now like yeah, in, in karachi there's yeah the now series, the, right? like yeah he's f- fighting in one championship now Damn, uh, like yeah, one warriors yeah. actually yeah. but he's now he, he was still that time a badass dude and still he is and and uh, the people i was training with they they all also open up a gym yeah. uh, and uh, and there's there's also carlson gracie yeah. BJJ, now the yeah, carlson gracie team so the karachi yeah? scene is getting better yeah. and better so again from 2011 till 2013 2015 the the time i was in karachi i was training with the, those guys and, and, and sometimes boxing let too. me ask you here so yeah. i read i don't know if i read it yeah. i don't know if i heard it i don't know if i dreamed it right okay. but, okay. but there's a story about you right that you left your city came here to work with Bashir as an accountant yeah and that wasn't exactly true was it what yeah, was what that, was that wasn't, all about that was in so uh yeah so that was actually <laughs> the timeline yeah so yeah. back uh, like uh, you can go f- five years ago so 
when i ended up so i did after that 3g's gym so i started with kickboxing and uh, yeah. uh, we we did uh, like kind of a, like we never had a competition competition type of thing in mma in yeah. karachi because yeah. there wasn't any mma gyms that we, we we were having grappling tournaments that we we could have figured out to win that and yeah. kickboxing tournaments that we did win that so mma we couldn't made a, like that type of competition but in in 2013 when i came to lahore for a first uh, kind of amateur competition where i i was a zero zero kind of thing i i do remember like i never you had a, yeah way. so ah, that's the that's the thing i want to uh, like say about so for that time until i i only had like a kickboxing experience most yeah. of it uh, yeah that was early 2013 so yeah i only had kickboxing experience and some wrestling grappling experience in terms of training never yeah. in terms of spar spar oh. never in terms of and, and at that time i don't think so my teammates also have it cuz west was traveling back and forth from lahore to karachi yeah. to give out all the knowledge he could have from yeah. bashir and bashir was in here sometimes and bashir yeah. would go away too so this was i think i don't remember the right date probably 28 june 2013 because this is the yeah. probably the best uh, day night of yeah, yeah day of life whatever i would say but where i saw myself uh you know the uh, honestly what i could you know the, i was like okay fucking I, i'm the best in kind of like a stand up shit but yeah. in that fight i i gassed out i in in the third round i i i faced my first loss kind of thing and that was just the first loss in mma but i i could see that my world ended so okay yeah. i i never saw that kind of embarrassment in my whole life in my whole life i'm saying because in yeah. terms of competition i never competed like in a in like a, a event like that big yeah first of all and like in an event like uh you know where there's like i don't know 100 300 people like in a shadi hall type of thing Damn. where yeah, yeah i'm i'm fighting in the inside a cage you're fighting uh, in front of people in front of and people and, and, and the guy i was yet. fighting was that guy that guy sarim rahim and he was a young an dude animal, I, 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 he's yeah. an animal he is still animal and and uh, i never knew about that that yeah. kid it was tough as nails i i probably we started with the first round ended up on the second and i couldn't manage to like fight back on the ground cuz he was really better on the ground i could like we switched like positions and dude our jiu jitsu even sarim probably he trained or not i don't know about sarim but my uh, i could see that from that fight if you go back yeah. our jiu jitsu was like okay I, i had to go back like in the fight you can see that in fight that yeah. in the first round uh, sarim uh, catch me in the arm bar and uh, i was like literally taking my arm off and looking where so what the hell i should do it from <laughs> yeah. from like a distance of 8 to 10 feet yeah and and uh, this like jerk it off and i say okay i'll do that and yeah. then sarim just went off so i couldn't take the side control i i couldn't manage to take all the positions back and forth so that was the type of grappling we had so our grappling experience or whatever my experience from that fight went like crazy and when i lost that i was like whoa yeah. and i thought that we had done everything in karachi or we had like amazing sort of thing I was like no man you're not there's a lot more to I, learn, i was yeah. embarrassed i was like really really embarrassed and I don't depression or whatever that back then bro I didn't know about that word yeah, depression I, yeah. I'm serious about this say yeah. I didn't know about uh depression or whatever again so but after four months so I started with, like I was still struggling with uh, college or something so yeah. uh, I was doing the inter type of thing wahan pe hota so I was just clearing up my college degree or even my parents are still concerned ki, why the hell are you going to law and what yeah. the hell is going on so yeah. they were like uh, we can see the like you're There's going off from yeah, yeah two weeks and uh, you st- when you're living with family here in pakistan and like you know these terms yeah. they can ask you and th- that's that's how thing goes you don't get a lot of and space i wasn't that either, old yeah. to you know take take off or phir main har cheez apne pe karu to they were like concerned concerned get this is kind of like a uh sport where you should be thinking about your physical life also okay yeah. agar if you get injured wh- what the hell are you going to do yeah. this is even even this is first not the first time you have done kickboxing but that's again something different yeah. that time you won not this this yeah. time you lost so again that th- those questions was coming in my my mind not from my parents i was just you know concentrating on like negative shit started yeah. and oh, yeah. and from i mean uh after that like 
in four months again. So OS got a, so I started working again. So I said like, fuck this shit. Probably I'm not gonna do again because yeah. I probably failed it. And we didn't had that. Okay, I take the fail. So do it, do it. Like we know, we didn't yeah. have like yo YouTube yeah. jargon. So no oh, motivation, <laughs> man. Come on, you fool, lost your fucking yeah. yeah. Do, no, we uh, didn't. Uh, that's really shit. I'm yeah. Exp- I mean, sharing with you. And I mean, like in a, re- in, in a in like if you put yourself in that position, you work for something, you got there. It's a very physical contest. You lost. That kind of a loss must be so different to handle yes. than any other loss, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you 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 take that with you. Take care. You yeah. can't like you know erase that. Uh, in 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 uh, in terms of like it record, happened. yeah, it yeah. happened. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's how it goes. So yeah. again, uh, so same year uh, after four months, uh, OS gave me a call. Okay, okay, Bashir said yeah, there is Afghan guys coming uh, in Pakistan first time, and uh, they've asked you to uh, compete again. I said oh. I'm zero one. I'm like never won this. Yeah. He said I don't know. You were on a fight, and this was like uh, just I had like. maybe 6 7 days in the fight and i i wasn't going to the gym or like mac we did not go glorify any karunga ke we like i'm making this story up uh, you can yeah. uh, so again this is the real circumstances i'm sharing about so a week to the fight you get a call a week to the fight i get a call and uh where said i also have a fight with uh, the guy named afnan where who, who's still a badass in in yeah. dubai and that yeah. guy is, is super athlete now uh, yeah. big tug again i i met him here uh, back yeah. in shaheen days so yeah. uh, anyways so we say okay th- f- we we still have one week you can come over and we can do the drills and stuff like that i say okay i might try again so uh, is, is there any weight category i have to like yeah you have to like cut 2 kilo w- what weight are you are like yeah i'm like 72 he knew about it because i already every time whenever i yeah. came to the gym he knew about the weight because wes was a smart dude he, yeah, he yeah. still is yeah. so he said don't fray about everything it's going to be obviously be normal just like you justified you just have to come over and try yeah. again try again i said thanks for the motivation probably i, I will so yeah. i ended up in the gym i started to like do few wrestling drills with uh, there is there was a guy named khair ahmed who, yeah. who everyone in the whole So yeah that's the best point you actually asked for so again in 2013 so in 2012 I'm going to now take this story to the Pakistan perspective yeah, if no, you don't yeah, mind no, so no, again in 2012 and a whole Pakistan perspective they, they were all saying okay Bashir and Bashir and yes he is the dude he still is but uh, he went for the pro MMA theek hai and he I think after that uh, in 2013 uh, probably he made the and when I said I don't remember right now but again uh in in those days 3G started to like uh, in our, our gym started to uh give the layout or I could say probably people were doing here but uh we were specialized uh, or we were saying that okay uh, our we have a guy who's who actually was from Kabul yeah. who was a like a national national wrestler oh, who competed in 66 kilograms of uh, weight category and who made the gold level of wrestling in, in yeah. inside uh, inside the training so yeah. he helped us a lot and and on from from that uh, i mean like sarin fight uh, that event that event called pfc that that event even khairman fought in that and uh, yeah. everyone was surprised uh, by his uh, grappling and the way yeah. he he couldn't he didn't tap out he he was he got caught from a triangle and you know what triangle is that yeah. the, where where you, you if you explain <laughs> to the guys Dude, please, it's an anaconda kind of like where where your, your arm is actually trapping someone's legs across yeah. the, and your arm is actually kind of like choking your own yeah. neck and uh, if you like don't know what we are so talking about you yeah. can go google it yeah. just go look just up a triangle yeah, please, yeah. dude it is so again, as hell or yeah. just google uh, khairamad fight pfc yeah, uh, yeah that's yeah. the guy you should like so from that point so in that same event where i fight sarin uh, khairamad fought also so uh, his fight was like two fights before me so Uh, when he entered the cage and he was doing everything the, like that gave us hope also so when west said okay okay khairam oh, has a fight also and he's fight he won that fight but again when i i heard that cuz i i was like really okay yeah. that guy like help us all, a yeah. lot and yeah. let's just fucking try it again why not yeah so after that uh, we went again we went to the basics wrestling yeah we're going to do that we're going to do that and then we travel again to lahore and nobody knew that afghans actually bringing the national national level wrestler not just wrestlers the 
best of the best guys we actually saw on the map of from asia from okay. from afghanistan actually in asia so the best fighters from afghanistan yeah i mean in terms of kickboxing wushu wrestling i don't know they they had like sorry gsp <laughs> got down <laughs> but this guy is also motivation again <laughs> but uh <laughs> so go, go, both yeah. oh uh, so again uh so yeah back up i mean this time when uh, so this is back again 2013 and uh, when uh, like everyone said okay okay afghans are coming and bashir had to find out and like 3g is coming with the guys and when we came here and bashir was really upset about that people here uh, they they didn't straight away take the fight uh, on, on different divisions i don't know why i, I don't know, i don't even want to know the reason say yeah. bashir was bashir i don't know wh- why but again i'm telling about the scenario what happened yeah. so afghans came with the best of the best dudes yeah I don't know if they were roided. I don't know if they were yeah, they were uh they were taking anything or whatever, but yeah. they were really really experienced and and uh really their experience for not for just MMA. They were doing this shit for from the age of 14 to 13, TK. Yeah. And Bashir it's not about Bashir, it's not about anyone, but I think one thing uh, that uh, we should have you know we should learn now, okay? we should uh, if whatever event uh, we and and probably people have learned now okay whenever we call afghans now or whenever we call anyone from a uh, global yeah. stage now from that event i, I want to say from now this time nobody knew nobody knew what afghans could have capable of inside that ring or yeah. inside that cage in mma rules and no like on that event that event night i fought afghan Uh, there was a guy abdul mateen koita guy yeah, yeah that koita guy yeah oh. th- that oh, dude yeah that that dude yeah, yeah that dude uh, actually fought a uh, 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 afghan grappler yeah islamabad boys uh, fought uh, uh, afghan also zishan uh, yeah, probably zishan, you know that yeah, guy zishan, too yeah. and uh, some tff guy uh, fought uh, uh, kamran fought uh, ovas yeah and uh, afnan for uh, our ovas so yeah. khair ahmed fought from pakistan uh against his own countryman oh, just man. for the sake of uh that that uh he used to train with us in yeah. karachi yeah. just that he said okay i don't want to but for them i i'm legit i'm serious about this that it's a matter of like blood or something like yeah. they are crazy yeah. afghans Uh, because there's a one lot thing of I would that come, yeah, come and go right yeah, yeah I mean I, I would cure from uh, Mateen Abdul Mateen used to say yeah because he fought Afghan also they are not civilized uh, in in this type of game they huh. are not they are he's right he's 100% right I don't know uh, like it, even in terms of uh, like rules or whatever they are like maybe they are in now or yeah. but they were not the back then you get, if you go them, again yeah. uh, and watch my second fight second immature fight and uh, when i start to that guy name is nangi alai the yeah. same guy who uh, wakar fought in oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in uh, f- uh, park fighting lines too yeah, so yeah, yeah. the the first event uh, they made it uh, uh, here in lahore and uh, so the fight started and i go and touch this guy in, in a sportsmanship and yeah. that guy fucking yeah. no he didn't he he just Whoa. straight through a flying kick and say like, whoa. whoa and in in that kind of like yeah in that t- kind of a scramble he st- he straight took my neck I, i was like kind of nervous and yeah again this was just uh like a week training or not i was in a like a pro pro guy yeah. back the tk yeah so i was surviving that whole first round okay how the hell i'm going to take away how, how do you get like, this guy gonna, off yeah cuz yeah. this uh, this is afghan versus pakistan i'm not going to take i'm not going to tap out i'm not going to tap out. and from that whole three rounds if you go watch again and again that fight is all still on youtube but i was losing hope again and again i i wasn't even con- i probably i connected like few times yeah even afghan got gassed out in the third but oh. my skills were like 10 person against a guy uh, called Nanga Lai yeah. whose skills like 100 person yeah. was not fair in terms of that yeah. that competition so again who, uh, whoever did the matchmaking i don't know they yeah. were not experts so that was back in 2013 again Damn, yeah. the, uh, after just four months of uh, like a uh, sarans fight yeah. again so that was the like probably you can say the i mean again a best turning point because when i came back i didn't feel just the same way as starting fight but i felt like okay 
I because this time I didn't gas our whole fight, but uh, I faced the f- second failure yeah. again. This was a failure. This one was a success. Yeah, and uh, I couldn't manage to take a win. But yeah. I wasn't embarrassed. I don't know why, but that's the, something changed. That's, yeah, something changed. Or probably I was like, okay, so so what? Uh, I mean, all the Afghan guys who fought Pakistanis, they finished them. I, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. get uh, the finish. Even Khairman didn't uh, get the finish, but we didn't tap out or we didn't get knocked out. Yeah. I don't know why, but uh, even people just say, "Okay, you had a good chin," which I did. I yeah. think I took a lot of damage from yeah. that Afghan dude, and that's a cheap motherfucker. If I'm gonna, <laughs> take you. yeah, let's do that Nangala yeah. shit. Yo, let's go! Yeah, I'm calling the rematch uh, right I wanna now. I want to do that. I want to do that on a good paper my view money now yo, i don't i don't want to do that yo, i think we wrote the script for the rematch right yeah let's here, do buddy. that yeah. let's do that but some good money because yeah. now because that back when 2013 pakistan everything was like on a like this level yeah and everyone knew okay free fire like okay he can not but whatever the level is whatever i'm not gonna say about level i'm gonna say about in terms of my uh i mean like understanding i i can like say okay we can do that in a professional way or probably yeah. I, i'll go and probably see okay if that old guy uh, whatever afghan thug want to come back and like come this soil or maybe yeah. some other soil i'm gonna yeah. rip your ass off again yeah. and anyways no, for real so let, yeah. again anyways from after that fight so yeah i came back again west shahs gym and everything like got first it also west couldn't get the win that was a controversial again yeah. that fight i don't want to comment on that too because yeah. uh, that event was just like the like a like a kind of a blasting event in in pakistan mma history because nobody had that kind of a audience which bashir uh, could manage to you know uh, yeah, take in together, one yeah. night yeah but like that that event did happen in in a in a in a bright lights and kind of like a in a flashy tree a logo stage, yeah. no i don't know the in the first event there was a tree logo but bashir had good sponsors and bashir did played out some 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 good type of yeah. a, uh sponsors for that event anyway so after that 2014 back to your question sorry yeah. that was a big no, story no, but no dude I so love it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah if end of 2013 until uh, i i say i'm done but i wasn't feeling that embarrassed I'm done but I wasn't that feeling embarrassed and I in, in sense of uh so let me explain in sense of uh training I started to go there only the days when I feel like okay this time and I'm going to give like my all yeah probably I wasn't giving my all uh, and again this I wasn't that old uh, in 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 like uh, I mean you were still young in yeah, your career in the age so yeah. and and again we like we uh as a team 3g third generation mixed martial yeah. i'm talking about that team yeah we never had a like a pro consular os shah he's still that dude but he's also he's on his own right now yeah. he, he doesn't have like a we doesn't have a faraz habi we don't have a b we don't have a john kavana the yeah. like type of guys who, who can, can guide you yeah who can only well not probably right now we might can give the these guy these young guys uh, a chance to be that but yeah. again everyone have to you know figure out some some things on their own too yeah. so again so from uh, like back uh, after the afghan fight and i i switched to some kind of like a uh, i had a boxing spar in in west gym okay so this was the turning point why uh, coming back to your yeah. question that uh, why i switched to lahore and m- kind of like you know moved up Yeah. This fact is so from this boxing spar I Who just spar? I so yeah this is a funny story again that uh in West Shah gym so we we have the gym in uh, Karachi where is the, there's kind of like a some place in roof some place is not in roof and uh there's like a open space where we used to take out mats and there's a national boxer uh used to used to play some uh, commonwealth games yeah. and olympic type of uh, boxing uh, competitions came and uh we said do you want to spar him i said oh okay uh, i never boxed as well it doesn't matter bro this job like yeah. okay take and the uh, first kind of like so we don't have timers we we never had a timer kind of thing the, yeah, what the we have right now yeah, yeah we th- this is again 2014 or something and i'm not talk- talking about liari liari type of gym but yeah. this guy used to go there where who's i'm fighting his name is ehsan khan yeah. i don't know he's still training but 
he he's better known by wakar wakar and the guys who still uh, uh, who who knows boxing in lahore like yeah. a national competition levels these guys know about who i am talking about right. and essen he used to like uh, box when he was young and he used to go like uh, in small karachi gyms uh, where he used to fight some national guys from baloch type yeah. of uh, fighters so when i start spar him he just gave me some three jabs and which hit me like okay Damn. this yeah. guy hits like nangyalai what the hell is different <laughs> yeah. and yeah. and i i can say i survived like a whole three minute but when i was back i was like i, I was i was literally i can say okay uh, i saw stars and met matlab dekh raha tha okay this guy is is, is he one or like yeah. i couldn't count him like yeah. you know that like that kind of like, feeling and when yeah. when it ended i say aap kahan train karte he said ab to main nahi karta he was like still bulky yeah. fat and that was in he wasn't in his 100% fit shape uh-huh. so i said okay it's the training i'm doing right now in 3g probably they were okay but uh i think i have to change it Something if i if i yeah, yeah if i want to compete still be a college kid or maybe do anything and if i still have it i i was like here i was like in uh maybe 22 or something 20 i i yeah. don't remember uh, you know yeah 22 or something yeah. khair so in back i said okay i want to start some boxing and uh, i've always heard about the karachi boxing and uh they have some gyms and where the like uh, you know you probably lahore people like they say <laughs> no go areas yeah we yeah, have no that bro, areas, yeah, yeah we have that like gangster yeah, no. shit that's yeah, real no, there that, so yeah. so i don't said okay i don't that dude i yeah. don't fuck with <laughs> no i i don't <laughs> want to do like uh, bro, like again but there is other cake banda shay tu kabhi na mile like bro no, we do have that we do have main boulevard pe gaadi chalate meri ہوتی ہے Um, probably th- like tonight I I've, prob- I have like pistol or something I like six yeah. seven bullets I want to just fire in the air like yeah oh I'm bored like, yeah about, I like that, 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 and like <laughs> that back then yeah. uh, so Karachi didn't have that of uh, a good reputation of so yeah. we were we were having strikes and uh, lots of political yeah. uh, fights and yeah. I don't know how's Lahore but Lars are right don't worry about uh, it. No, <laughs> no, no, but i'm i'm <laughs> saying in, in the terms yeah. of so uh, the the reason i moved also was uh, that uh, my studies i just ended up with uh, like uh, i ended up with the first year of bachelor's uh, i remember that yeah. and uh, i i was always fighting about okay okay uh, about my father like uh, okay i can do that and i can do, do that shit but lahore yeah. mega the like that's okay please like, if i want to do the sport just for yeah. the sake of time and i know i uh, like you guys can sport also but so gas yeah, but he again rejected it so that was again uh, coming back i then i say okay what the hell i have left then i started with boxing gym so now this was this was back again uh in the end of 2014 that uh, i started with a coach name uh ala baksh balosha the people who are familiar with boxing scene yeah. uh, he was a former olympian coach and still i, I think uh, yeah uh, the mohammed wasim's coach and if yeah, you see yeah, the yeah. if you see the mohammed wasim's uh, commonwealth uh, fight where he yeah. uh, took the silver medal that uh, in his corner that's the guy who i'm talking about right, yeah. so i ended up meeting him inside a cave like gym in karachi cave. yeah cave like gym the way i'm talking about is that there they have uh, karachi still have talent uh, but yeah. the reason we, all are in pakistan we all uh, know that we have talent in different type of sports but government in the end just have to bust off every yeah. fund and like yeah. take away and don't want to give yeah. so so again so th- this ended up all uh, in 2014 i started with the boxing and uh, it was getting better and better and uh, i started to realize okay i never knew about okay this is how you throw a perfect cross 
That's when you start to learn the techniques properly. Not just learn to technique properly, like a punching properly. I said, okay, yeah. West Shaw gym was okay, but the, we started used to do the kicks more and wrestle yeah, more yeah. and grapple. Yeah. But the punches, so that department wasn't working. Yeah. So again, you won back, your dog fights championship with a beautiful hook. Yeah, uh, like, I, I mean, that. the the reason uh, probably. Before the MMA, uh, I also always was uh, also the fan of boxing. Okay, you yeah. can't take away that sport from Pakistan. Yeah. Blood. I think everyone is. Cause yeah. do you remember the show Ek Mukawar? No, I, can't I think know. there there are a few guys probably would probably know if yeah. if they're a fan of uh, some boxing. Uh, like people, yeah, yeah, you can find out uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, this this show literally used to be the best highest rating in 2003 and four, Damn, yeah. back in Jews uh, news and like yeah. they 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 made it this uh, big and I used to say why the hell I couldn't do that like yeah. I I used to have that you know, type of interest in like yeah. okay that that's a cool yeah, sport I and that, yeah. I I used to follow Amir Khan also but yeah. I wasn't I wasn't getting a huge huge like a, you know boxing would be that shit and like again so that's the reason I I kind of like you know cater away from 3G and yeah. try started to go with the boxers yeah and uh, even in the end I I quit like contacting Wes and quit going to their gym and Wes was kind of like angry because yeah. he he's used to give me some personals and classes and shit I said yeah. in the end I, I'm feeling what I'm doing like I, I know like I, I was like calling uh, Essen and on every kind of you know this is gonna be funny I don't know yeah. people but no. we were uh, even finding spots like you know uh, some kind of like a uh, you know, strange, strange, uh, like a cave, James, again, yeah. uh, in, in inside uh, our Karachi region, there is like uh, some some places where you have ring called uh, uh, National Coaching Center. So we would go there and like only spar each other. Oh. And he would beat the hell out of me. Yeah. And I was like, I'm on my feet. I'm still, I can't like, you know, get away from this. So still, I mean, didn't give me the real perspective of what I can do with my arms yeah. or my hands. I mean, like yeah. literally, I, the, these are my, like the first instinct and w- what I can't like survive with them. Like yeah. I am doing some wrong shit. Yeah, so no. I started to ignore MMA and that time. So after a year, like in 2015, this is a year where uh, like in, in like, first uh, i i don't know the exactly month but uh, so i i used to like uh, contact bashir and congratulate he he was fighting and he just won his third fight pro fight and uh, and he He's suddenly say, uh, yeah. yeah he just suddenly contact uh, called me in uh, on skype like say okay what the hell are you doing these days like cuz he knows about the back in the days in 2010 me ali nasir Umar Aga, only we three and Ogargul, obviously, yeah. four guys. Before West, because we were like contacting again and again to Bashir to come there and uh, make an effort to do the seminar for MMA. Because people there know about the UFC, know the, about the stuff. He did uh, actually uh, the seminar in our gym also in 3G. But the way we four were communicating wasn't that much of a deal with 3G. 3G was actually going by the way their martial arts terms. Yeah. OS was going in the terms of like a ninja type. So Bashir was like, okay, what are you uh, still doing? Like, uh, I want to just uh, know. I'm saying, so this I'm is not a like, Skype call from Bashir. Yeah, yeah, just like uh, after the one championship, I was like, man, one FC, like yeah. you are only the guy who is actually Pakistan producing. Yeah. Like, please Who's don't like, don't yeah. let us, uh, like, just, come on, shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what the hell are you doing these yeah. days? Like, nothing. Like, Okay, so there's 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 a thing uh, uh, like uh, in in our synergy like which couldn't get filled as a thing. But well, what are you talking about? It's like, yeah, there's. Uh, let me tell you straight. There is. Uh, okay, we we need a coach. Like so, like we need a coach who's like experienced and uh, and probably you're the best guy who can fit that job. I yeah. say, one second. I've I've lost two fights. I, so what? I mean. You still can uh, teach the people. You used to probably used to do that in Shapes Karachi. And I used to like with 3G guys in Shapes yeah. Karachi. So I said, yeah, I mean, that's better. Okay. Like, why not? I mean, if if I can move here, like only teach people. Yeah. And uh, I said, but is this going to be contractual? Like, I can't leave my family. Like, you know, like, Abu Ami, bro. This is, this is brown. Yeah, uh, like, I'm not just brown kids in like states or something. This is Karachi yeah, and Lahore. This is Karachi and Lahore. <laughs> 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 you know, we'll get it, bro. You don't just say, <laughs> okay, mom, dad, I'm yeah, moving out. Yeah, like, Lahore. Do the job. Yeah, it's like 10 o'clock in the house. It's like a house. It's a Karachi. It's not like that. It's So, she said, no, no, we're going to give you a proper, like a salary. And, uh, 
it's we gonna give you a space if you can afford it. like we can give you a cut and you can uh, share it with a person yeah. I say like, okay that's cool and that's how i have to manage to tell my parents that uh, i have to actually uh, that's the last chance I, i i can get like to move to there and like yeah eventually my father never accepted that and uh, now he's okay now he's yeah. cool with it because yeah. i everything figured out and everything worked it and uh, the way uh, in the, in in the in the first i i say like i'm just moving uh, because uh, i got just a, like 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 a job inside a gym it was like which job like there is there is a gym called it was like which gym like there is bashir ye wahi banda hai jiske sath usne mess kiya like it's that nah, bashir yeah. isn't it yeah yeah cuz uh, he was to be stop bro uh, cuz yeah dude i can't imagine shit i just just imagine okay whew, yeah you're traveling you're traveling uh like uh, six to eight hours whatever the hours uh, to a city to another city in another province of pakistan and you coming you're back with a own. black eye yeah. you're coming back oh, with a, a black eye and uh in the like uh, in, in 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 a home like pakistan no that's oh, a no no it like uh, your abu would like fuck beat the hell out of yeah, me with a, even like, more yeah, yeah yeah bro give you another black chalo guy. niklo yeah, yeah. yeah you, you're not here to stay and i have an older brother so yeah he wasn't corporate enough to so yeah. again but hey. that's another <laughs> uh, another yeah. story again yeah. so that's how i managed to like end up in synergy and from that time i'm not saying that i i uh I think I made the best decision to face uh, what I could have become and you can see that from from the numbers or whatever yeah. you can say like in terms of record from 2015 until 2019 yeah I I I took a loss again 2018 by by uh, my one FC my one war series uh, yeah. fight but again in from from 2015 till the that Thailand fight that knockout uh, yeah. I achieved like everything mentally i was like uh, evolving evolving like again gsp i touched him. sorry <laughs> man so, yeah. so uh, in those two th- three to four these years i can now i can i can i can see okay what the hell i'm bullshitting about uh, my my own training and in terms of getting amateur to professional you guys can only see okay that knockout was dope and that yeah, probably yeah dope, that dude, yeah. that the fight i did with heather lee Yeah. that that guy yeah. that, that guy is a stud bro yeah he's a walking stud i think like a 69 75 kilo guy right now but yeah. he used to be he, so when i came back here but she said okay everything was chilling everything was cool i said yeah. i i probably never going to fight i wasn't thinking still that i'm not going to fight but yeah you want to fight but i started to coach and, and i did i was doing a better job but again then uh, she said like in a month you're going to fight uh, this guy named Heather Lee who has a he was a wish to say yeah well, what what dude Heather like, spins like a yeah yeah and dog, how, dude, how like, i knew about the, the this whew. spin i google uh, sorry i youtube uh, his yeah, name and, and straight and and straight i couldn't get the he's a bay blade yeah, <laughs> like, he I just keeps spinning man with yeah, kicks and, and shit it's and crazy and he yeah. gets his accuracy is on the point <sighs> yeah yeah dude, so again when i when i youtube his name uh there's a so mateen's fight popped up mateen oh. and hederly i i don't know they they had a small grudge fight match in in, in that each block synergy yeah. so <laughs> i saw that okay this guy can spin like a in in in, in a millisecond 180 degree so and keep spinning <laughs> yeah and 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 can hit you with a lot of power and yeah. uh, i think that fight did stop uh, by a knockout i don't know but uh, mateen was doing exhibition match and heather was taking that a serious Seriously, fight yeah. i don't know what was uh, that but yeah. again i fought him twice here once in shaheen and uh, other after uh, in in a uh, in the next month in uh, fighting lines 3 yeah. that was my like a uh, first win was actually it? the second win first win was in shaheen and shaheen fight was the brutal brutal i would say yeah. i had a headgear yeah that was a major rules again and uh, but again if you see i don't know that's you can fight in internet but that was the fight of my life that yeah. I, i had a again i had that strain moment uh, coming back of sarim's fight like yeah. okay these 200 people most of theirs these are like from chergao i don't yeah. know him like again i'm like walking like looking like but but again i'm like trying to focus okay this fucking guy is patan yeah. okay like bench you know like <laughs> yeah, well, what the fuck like, okay pumped, yeah. yeah they're like oh, this guy yeah. Up, yeah. <laughs> and then the ring start and uh, mahmud i think is the referee and say okay you got fight and when i close the distance okay this guy 
So this guy wants to like only go kick and he's straight when I saw his hips move I like go for a shoot and I straight yeah. went to the shoot which was a smart decision and yeah. I straight took him down but I I managed to like uh, get stopped few times because he was grabbing the ring yeah. the same thing which is kind of foul and yeah. this is a foul if you try to get the help of a rope uh, yeah. inside MMA or some kind rules. of surface yeah. Yeah. So, yeah so I tried to manage the fight on the ground and I uh, took that win so uh, but on the same night Bashir uh, came back to Pakistan and said I'm not impressed I was like okay not but impressed yeah, by yeah, your yeah, papa man yeah yeah but I, I like first time I'm like yeah <laughs> I'm not impressed yeah, by your papa yeah, yeah yeah so just Sorry. like <laughs> yes, you know but yes <laughs> yeah. you're right you're right actually just like that he was wow. like he was pissed off I don't know why I was like man dude you're not in Pakistan Yeah, I just I, bought my I, ass off. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you don't know how I moved here from and you don't yeah. know what the f- hell the story is about from a brown yeah. kid to you know move these cities yeah. and especially from Karachi Lahore bro these are not like And to like, fight. Yeah. And to go into an industry that's not established at all. And just to like compete in a sport like this dude are you nuts? But yeah. I, I didn't say that. Yeah. I didn't say I understand what he's coming from because uh he he was still competing he was saying you're probably better than that uh, kid and you were like you should have like stopped him and then from that like from the next month i i he told me that next month you're gonna be officially fighting him again i said okay is this, uh, okay so oh you I won do, and you still give him rematch yeah so that's kind of like okay i just fought this guy why don't we just wait he said no next month i said okay so okay let's start training and from that day to like uh next 30 days I was at 25. I had like a first pro pro guy inside my MMA camp training. Like first guy we had like Bashir. So yeah. Bashir officially made me Abdul Mateen, Wakar, Irfan, uh Wes. Uh there's I I think I don't know. I'm uh, I'm like forgetting one other uh, synergy guy, but I Harun. Yeah, the, we all we five like six guys used to only be on morning uh at around 9 to 10 uh, from elite two, training, three elite yeah. training yeah. yeah so that training was i managed to see that okay that was a difference what i never saw in my boxing in my 3g in my cuz back uh, even in karachi uh, the things are still our i don't know that back then we were only doing it in terms of okay yeah uh, art vijay krishna okay mai jima raha hu like that this scene. was actual training this was actual training this, this was the guy bashir himself yeah telling you okay okay so first thing he is tells us uh, okay you're going to fight early you say i know yeah so what uh, what's the plan uh, in your head i say mm, to probably take him down uh, you're going to suck at it was like what that like, yeah you're going to get sucked and probably get your ass kicked I say okay so what I'm going to do yeah you're going to take this like he he was explaining me the terms in in like in first step to the second step to the third to the fourth to the fifth and this is how you're going to control the fight the thing what I did in the fight say so, yeah. yeah. and uh, if you see the Heather Lee fight uh, in my FA3 it went like a uh, pretty what I trained to do yeah. and uh So this is the first time you saw a strategic plan in yeah, MMA and, and come together. Yeah, and come together and even not just come together uh, what I actually work for. Yeah. That was the point where I when I won that fight, man, that feeling like now I'm 2-2 yeah. or yeah. something. I was still my So when you have losses inside MMA game or inside whatever game or whatever thing you're doing in yeah. life, probably you're you managed to just get uh, fired from a job where you never expected okay i'm never going to do this again but and you get away from that thing which you're chasing like you know like you don't have anything but so that feeling you can't explain say so yeah, when you got nothing to lose yeah nothing to lose and when you achieve that i say okay that was a shit i should have faced before yeah. like those moments or something what, what that's the kind of mentality i think MMA gives or probably uh any kind of hard training gives like inside a gym or inside anything what are you doing if you don't kind of like you know uh put yourself in a place where you outside should your yeah it's yeah. outside your com- best thing to actually describe yeah that's yeah. the word i was looking for Un- getting uncomfortable and and taking the things uh on on just on just like natural okay it's okay to if if you get failure or something losses you get and that's a prime example i'm giving because i've 
gone through that. Yeah. I've gone that yeah. shit from a guy named Sarimri who was a badass dude, still a badass dude from Nangyalai. Still, I, I, I know, but that's still a legit threat to anybody who can, like, you know, go against that. If you go watch Wakar Umar fighting Wakar, mm-hmm. uh, fighting Nangyalai, and he's like, you know, going, uh, he actually finished Nangyalai in the second uh, round uh, with Nuri Nekucho. But again, yeah. on that time, Park MMA was getting better and better with the grappling scene and with everything because we were having PGC and yeah. we were we saw, just developing. Yeah, yeah. we were uh, we were developing a lot of people uh, potential. So that thing, I think that was the time where, when I saw okay, maybe I can do this for like. Two, three more bro. years. Two, three more years. That's the reason. Bro. So, yeah. I'm sitting here. And yeah. I got goosebumps. Yeah. Just think of this, Thanks, man. Uh, this is insane. This is really insane, huh? You, you like, you know, this has taught me so much because, uh, you know, at face value, when you, as a fan of the sport, you mm. watch the sport, you see the fighters, you see them do their thing and the wins and losses. Mm. And I think as a fan, especially for myself, you can really detach yourself from the ground realities, mm. which mm. is that shit man i mean you went through two of the hardest losses of your life yeah you changed camp or not changed camp but explore different camps got out of your comfort zone yeah trained with actual legit boxers and you move towns yeah and not just towns cities actually yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah where cities, where yeah. you where you don't know how the things go in 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 the, in the terms of uh like okay uh, like if you want to take out like you know uh, uh, the like I mean, but there's a lot of difference in, yeah. in Lahore. No, you don't need, yeah, 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 you don't yeah. have to go in yeah, that in thing, detail. So, yeah, debate. So yeah, but I can say that literally changing uh, my gyms uh, affected my uh, ability to learn a lot. And yeah. I'm not saying about any bullshit to anyone. Say it. Uh, I would say that okay, people should go out of their comfort zone if they if they can see that they can evolve and they can they can do stuff on their own or they can practice or they can train they can train in a different way or they yeah. can you know check themselves okay this is the thing I'm not looking in my uh, in my in my like uh, getting better thing okay so yeah. like I get my my boxing is good but my kickboxing ko you know affect hota hai. and whenever I spar or whenever I train I get like you know get busted a lot so that thing, I think you should change that immediately. Yeah. Even even if that is jujitsu, even if that is ju- uh, like in in wrestling or in anything, anything, in life, whatever yeah. you like, to whatever you're do, doing. Yeah, if yeah. you don't think you're doing the best at it, you should always I mean, try to. Yeah, move, I mean, you should around, try yeah. to go for a change. You should try to explore something. And and the thing is, uh, from moving to Karachi to Lahore, uh, I mean, I never thought that okay Bashir uh, would be the like uh, that call or something I mean I was still thinking when when I was going to the Karachi boxing okay okay when I left OS and like okay these these guys like still my friends like yeah. I used to like hang around with them like you know that's tough to like you're you All have na- your neighbors your family, yeah, yeah your neighbors and you're kind of like doing the same shit w- yeah. with your guys and you're like not meeting them now and you're going to other places and you're going on their own and they might think you're getting crazy yeah. and you need help. You yeah. shouldn't like go to like, they probably would say, okay, yeah, uh, you should like choose your thing. But I think sometimes it's okay to like look for yourself too and maybe figure out on your own. Okay. Okay. This could possible be done. If you, if you never w- look, so there is always a possibility. Okay. If you can't see, like if you, if you never try to, you know, see that uh, what's behind that closed door, w- w- you're yeah. never gonna take that fear off. So you, yeah. you have to like take that fear off to take from any any spectacle what you want to achieve. Like uh, yeah. whatever that fear is, you have to take that. You have to take that. You, in what? Just don't think about the failure. Don't think about the failure success right now. I mean, I in in terms of MMA, that's really really great thing. I mean, really you know brutal thing. I'm saying because what what if a guy get you know. And brutally knocked yeah, out. Brutally yeah, brutally get knocked out in the first fight. And, Damn, you know, yeah. and they say, like, his career is done. Yeah, he's a fighter. Like, like, I would literally say, ko, like, fuck them. Fuck they them, have man. never fucking did one second of a life achievement in, in their own life to point fingers at you. Uh, I'm, I'm talking this to the people who are probably facing these things right now or probably could probably face this in uh in fear i don't know but i'm saying it literally don't expect uh like others opinions 
that much of a sort of thing ke yaar unhi ke opinion se theek i mean sometimes experts yeah, yeah they, sometimes they can they can listen, they can be right but yeah. again you can figure out your own self too yeah. if you go to the kind of a feelings you can go to the uh, kind of trainings uh, you can go through probably you want to be good at it something you should try that again and again if you're getting failed fuck that shit man i mean look at the what mma scene have came through like yeah. we have ulumi who got knocked out back and forth from from afghan also in f3 but he got fucking championship one from philippines yeah we have uh, wakar umar we have Uh, we have a lot of people now who got shy to dicky yeah, yeah, yeah thanks i mean uh, <laughs> like we have we have a lot of people now coming from yeah. in in this young mma scene where where you can see probably losses but uh, i w- i would like to say that i mean it 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 don't think about the result right now theek hai don't think about the result uh, and and take the chance theek hai take the chance i know the risk and the chance is so difficult Yeah. probably when the lights are so bright and like you know with that cute ke uh, of the momly uh, dance yeah. bright, that's so literally true yeah. when the door closes when the ring say or when the ref says let's go let's fight yeah that's when you see the person that person in in the fight that that real person inside you like okay yeah. if you're a fighter or whatever if you're a boxer you see yourself right honestly Okay so this guy is like really like, okay yeah. so he walks like that okay you he, find he, out yeah. about yourself only in front of the bright light person man. yeah so you can't take that away feel you can't take that feeling away i mean in terms of any a way say so yes you have to face that you have to yeah. face that and don't think about okay the failure the success right now but give your best yeah don't take that away also yeah. i'm not saying okay go and like you know take yeah. the punch or whatever no yeah. no i'm saying do the best what yeah. you can yeah. to get do the best like even if you get knocked out that cure is so true about that rocky cure like yeah, yeah. we i used like this and that too much when i was going to the boxing gym <laughs> yeah that's that's so true like yeah. i'm going to the boxing gym like rocky stuff that's so it's legit you know like, about I mean, how going, hard you can hit yeah it's about how hard you can get, get hit, hit uh, and, and keep, keep moving, moving forward. forward yeah that's the truest this part is, huh? this has been a story of a man against the world child and i think there is nothing but there should be nothing but pride in your heart about how far you've come man i think is a great note to end it on yeah, fucking but, hell i'm inspired just talking to you about all of this you are definitely going to be back here i don't care if you want to yeah, or not want to be back they, here I but we can do that i, a lot. I want <laughs> you back here more bro this has been insane um i don't need to tell you this because yeah. i am no one it's not my place to tell you this but you but, should be nothing but proud of everything that you've done in your career sir and as a fan of this sport mm-hmm. as somebody who's following the sport i really look up to you and i'm really a big fan and i know it's going to sound a little weird yeah, cuz we no, no but, but i'm but really humble about it okay i'm i'm you gotta uh, be, again yeah. yeah i mean i mean again uh, uh, as a fact of uh, even a friend uh, i'm like i'm really respectful about you invited me onto this oh, podcast i mean this is really great yeah. Inter- uh, in in like uh, in in in, in like uh, in, in social media pages we don't see like okay you can you guys can communicate to the like we have a lot of fans going on yeah, like yeah. Yeah, there are people now t- talking about okay UFC gym ko lagta hai pata i say yeah. do you know what mma used to be in 10 yeah. years yeah. there was an you, you probably know about like yeah. there was only a typical synergy where yeah. you used to okay ring mein tumhe spar karni hai no spar nahi fight karni hai yeah. where you have like boxers yeah. from oh, okay bro, bro, bro. Fight hai, yeah that's it and, and and uh, bashir <laughs> uh let's go bro let's go let's let's uh, There is guys like Haris Bar, there is guys like Yo. Ahmed Bar, there is guys yeah. like Jamil, there is guys like Jazzy. Jazzy. That dude. King Jazzy, bro, let's go. <laughs> that him. dude is yeah. like that dude shaped the whole entire jiu-jitsu in Pakistan. Now you got those guys in Islamabad, Hisham, Sultan, uh, Ulumi. Fucking awesome guys. Yeah. Uh, Atif, uh, their BJ coach. Those guys are doing well also like uh, Nasir, uh, you should say that guy in Pindi, the, like there are a lot of people now coming up. Uh, yeah. So people here who are saying ufc khul gaya pakistan like these yeah. guys should tell i mean now it's i think this is the best time to promote the mma yeah. in official terms yeah. like everyone who's taking the advantage or out of it they they should go for it even yeah. if, even the catered fan who i used yeah. to like uh, live it he's the beast yeah, yeah he's killing in the terms of a professional mma he yeah. got that win Uh, there is a uh, there is uh, there is a kid called Hamza Shabazz who, who's yeah, yeah, a yeah. fan friend uh, he used to train in Shine he uh, got the win in Dubai 
So uh, these kids coming from a Shaheen Jim Cherpin, Abu Bakr, uh, Z- the Z- Golden B. Sparrow, yeah, yeah shit. They, these uh, young kids, they're like under 15. Uh, yeah, or Abhi, they're fine as a fan. Yeah, yeah Ishaq, uh, Z- uh, ZB. I mean, they they're only. Under 15 or log UFC UFC कह रहे हैं I think they don't know what these guys can be capable of just give them few years yeah and give them some support man I I I I want to request all of your uh, listeners and everyone के please try to try to just support the community as much yeah. as you can and like share these yeah. pages share Daniel's podcast because he's doing the best job and I I think even everyone uh, here in martial arts community like uh, Jazzy Bashir. Ehtisham, Upstate, Uwais Shah, Down, Ali Shah, BJ Academy, Jameel Chandio, yeah. uh, Nasir Yusuf Zai, uh, guys in Koita, Fishawar, a uh, lot of so guys. Many, There are yeah. lo- a lot of guys probably I'm missing, but I'm saying like try to like give them respect if you can. In either even in social media, when I see some guys. Like Talking shit, yeah, yeah. And, and 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 I get pissed off on on the UFC oh, course, si- on yeah. on the UFC page on the UFC Instagram page. They're like, bro, Habib is like a beast kebab. Yeah, nobody in Pakistan. I say, bro, have you yeah, ever yeah. stepped inside a major gym inside yeah. Pakistan or oh, came? Yeah. yeah, or ke- or came to the training like once to you know try out what what the gym is. Okay, if you take had, a punch to the face, motherfucker. Or, 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 yeah. or some or some guys had like a bad experience with some people inside him. Oh, so what? So you can like you can't say all the guys are same or the or the all the people are same. So yeah. you can't say that. I mean, you should always like respect. So MMA again is from martial arts. So yeah, you you can't take martial arts away from MMA. And yeah. the athlete respect is always gonna be there. Also, the fighter That's respect. All yeah, yeah, everything is gonna be there. Also, people are coming like uh, new fans here of UFC and MMA. They should get you know notice about that. These things are going from like. Like now, it's gonna be a decade in, in yeah. like next year. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be like in it's gonna be like in ten years. I was like, wow. So yeah. like people, we came like uh like now we people should like you know the start. They to, should know where yeah, they started, they, man. We, like, we we started from where we started from like Shaheen, 3G, TFF, Synergy. Yeah. Uh, rogue yeah uh, and you know like i know in five years M- mma is gonna blow up even here i hope it doesn't i least. think yeah sfn and you did a tremendous job of uh, commenting uh, also yeah man i've saw that thank yeah you, that, thank that you. was t- typically the I best tried. event after <laughs> brave yeah. yeah i mean sfn is coming like a uh, the best of the best local yeah. promotion nobody yeah. is here as sfn F- fighting lines was used to be like yeah. now there's no F- fighting lines yeah. sfn is the Now I think uh, the sh- uh, the the real yeah. shit. I mean, yeah, they they no, should they should they should come to Lahore, or Karachi. They will, yeah. And they should they, they, they should make it like a proper proper stage. Yeah. And uh, people around uh, like uh, in a uh, celebrities and they they should fund some real guys yeah, and they sure. like who are like uh, fighting in one championship guys in one four series. They, they should like they can accommodate them or yeah. or maybe people who are going to brave like Mamush. There is a yeah. guy named Mamush who used to fight yeah, from yeah, yeah, TFL. Yeah. Like I think he's now not in Pakistan, but. He used to be. Uh, he's still competing in Brave. Though. Like we, these guys, we still like. If people can give us chance and they they can give us some good opportunities here, like some give us the also like two grow, months yeah. or sixty days, and like okay, this is the date, and we have to like uh, we can like manage to t- take this uh, promotion out. Can you uh, help us? And why wouldn't we like give us some opportunities, man? I mean, I'm yeah. I'm. I'm requesting all the sponsors also if if they can come on to on to any page with us like fighters community or the gyms yeah. or gym owners or whoever you are I mean come to us and like we can manage to you know start something yeah. with even from the small and uh, part I I don't yeah. mean to be bigger bigger like you know invest like a million rupees and no bro I mean start small, small yeah, yeah start like come on start with like communication even yeah start with that i mean start with the meeting yeah i mean if you can like pop up and do like a lahore there's a ufc kind of franchise coming in lahore w- with a with a like you know like a billion rupees investment yeah. like crore rupees ke lag sakte so i mean they, they can like yeah. finally they can put out For a the fighters, yeah, yeah why not why not they keep the ego out and like you know give us the local kids. so this guy marcus he's uh, here in uh, pakistan right now and he's here with the ufc uh, uh, gym uh, people and uh, they're franchising uh, they have franchised uh, uh, already they, they have like this guy has already bought the ufc franchise but this gym is far away yeah he he probably he, he he's he not willing to like you know uh, 
like welcome the pak mimi community or the people who have already fu- the people like i don't the know like ego shit whose, yeah. yeah the ego shit is still is yeah. pretty ruthless here yeah. cause of our Uh, genetics or whatever yeah. uh, whatever the term you can use uh, yeah. in uh, like region i mean they should come in the like balanced uh, communication yeah. i mean come on And if you're not gonna give the athletes uh, or the fighters uh, what they deserve they're gonna move out they're gonna yeah. why would they stay and like you know think about okay this opportunity come on they, they have to live yeah. their own life too exactly. i have to in the end i have to like you know feed the family come back to the, uh, my uh, yeah. mom and dad and say okay kya ho raha like you know i have to move on too i'm not going to probably doing it this whole life also so yeah. if you guys can come over like you know do the things right now that's going to be yeah. unbe- like you doing so this is probably amazing no, man, of mean. course i mean i just you know i've i've been a fan of the sport i've been a fan and of sorry to interrupt again i i missed out one guy also uh sorry again the, yeah, the, the, the guy name is usman zulfikar oh, he yeah. used to be the boxing, boxing coach, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's i think these guys uh he's teaching in iron box yeah legit guy with yeah, the he's, he's with a, with a legit trainer skills boxing skills who gave me the perspective so sn was my like first boxing kind of teammate sparring mate but this is the boxing official yeah. real coach where bashir wasn't here so i would like you know uh, like appreciate and big even shout out like, yeah, big yeah. shout out to the sponsor yeah awesome this yeah. guy can legitly he can like turn on the boxing in pakistan golden Spons gloves Vigar, champion yeah. dude he's a go- yeah he has 16 rec- le- uh, fights in united states of america guys yeah. so this guy lives in lahore and yeah. he's a pro Like you can say pro boxer yeah, yeah. pro box he can de- do oh, yeah, he, sure. if you guys can come like if someone like listening to as a some federation guys they, if they can go and uh, you know contact usman sulfikar i mean usman bhai can yeah. ready to help them like, you for know for sure yeah he can pull off some yeah. real things usman yeah. bhai like that guy is beast yeah. and uh, i wish him great luck that yeah. this dude has evolved the uh, boxing in yeah. pakistan from our gym also like in pakistan line i'm right now i'm uh, trying to I mean, explain about Lahore situation yeah. and uh, uh, there's a lot more. There's a lot well, more to yeah. come. I'm I'm not talking about Islam and Karachi right now, but in terms of Lahore in, in boxing, I mean, Sman is uh, is the perfect person if you want to start yeah. boxing with, yeah. and you can contact him uh, like uh, yeah. his Instagrams. Like yeah. you shout out to him. I mean, yeah, no, shout yeah. out Sman to yeah. Fakar. And I mean, I you know, we started this. I'm not kidding. I mean, I. I didn't really know what to do with myself to a very large degree but I knew there's one thing I love and that's the fight game. I wow. knew and I gave up at one point uh my dreams of being a fighter because um of recurring injuries and just a lack of motivation and to be very honest just comfort and privilege that didn't okay. push me to the point where I said you know I have to but then I always thought if there's one thing or if there's anything that I can do to give back to the MMA scene I mean I'll do it. and here we are yeah this is the platform that we're trying to make which can tell the stories of the people who have built and carried the MMA scene on their backs and you sir are one of them thanks and all the people you mentioned are more people on that yeah actually mm-hmm. they they are the real people i would say okay ah stop it chat. no i mean they, <laughs> they've developed uh, yeah. uh, i mean not me but uh, they've helped uh, like guys like haris hamid they still i roll with them Uh, Jazzy, uh, I yeah. mean, yeah. Uh, if you meet this guy Haris, yeah. I mean, I don't think so. You can find this guy in social media. Come yeah. on, yeah. Because but you go back in when uh, 2015 again. So BGC, the, this yeah. thing called Pakistan, Pakistan Grappling, Grappling Challenge. Challenge yeah. yeah, nobody knew. Okay, the Bakar probably gonna win. Like the, everyone saying Mustafa from Stamba, yeah, like TFF up, guy. Right? And Haris, you came along with this, like you know. bodybuilders uh, Physique, body yeah. like i say probably he's going to man he's going to uh, gas out gas out and know. he literally yeah. he <laughs> smashed everyone yeah. with the arm lock with the arm bar you say yeah in in i mean in in few seconds or maybe in in, in one minute of like his i mean his abilities as a judo ka who uh, started with judo and ended up in mma gym like bashir's yeah. shine so 
he evolves also i mean uh, if if we get opportunities kids like him can also you know yeah. get like a big shout out well there's him. yeah there's yeah, one thing we've learned there's a lot of talent there's a lot inside of inside box yeah, yeah man too, too much I mean, talent there's a lot there's a lot there's hey, a lot and guess what i'm coming for each and every one of you talented yeah. mother effers we're going to get you all on the podcast and talk about your stories I, you should you should shahid yeah. it has been an absolute freaking pleasure my dude yeah. i'm definitely going to see you here again and uh thank you so much for inviting me nah, mr daniel dude, you i mean got it. yeah Fuck i mean yes man yeah. this is what we want to do <laughs> I mean, this is what we always wanted to do yeah. this is on the mic this is shahid siddiqui we just did my favorite episode till now <laughs> that uh-huh. i've ever done and ladies and gentlemen as always keep it tight keep it locked subscribe to the channel share the channel share this video like it go check out shahid siddiqui's instagram and facebook pages yeah. if you ever need if you're in the lahore area i don't give a shit if you're in mall town johar town yeah, get off your anyways, ass huh? make the travel this guy will train you and turn you into a legit mma fighter he, and again mma is not just for fighting or just yeah. being combat sports guy you can do mma for anything even just to stay in shape once again dude absolute pleasure we'll definitely have you back here again i mean thank you again oh thank you, you got it pleasure. dude yeah. oh fuck yes uh-huh. i love this episode keep it tight boys thank you thank you see you inshallah yes. i love it <laughs> <laughs> dude that was, I, that was a